so hi everyone today we will try to understand what is reinforcement learning a uh, basic concepts so that a person can get started with basic reinforcement learning problems so let's get started so let's first of all assume that we have a problem statement we are trying to develop a game where we have uh, uh, in our head we have uh, an environment where uh, there is a person who wish to reach from a po start position to a destination position uh, and there is an entire map over which he needs to go through the roads, the mountains, the rivers, etc. to reach to his destination position. So this is a game that we are trying to build out. Now let's understand the basic concepts of reinforcement learning associating with this particular setup. So the first concept is environment. So as you must have guessed it, it is the uh, place, it is the ecosystem, it is the entire setup that we have for the game or for the uh, any other problem. So in this case, it would be the car, the city, the roads, all of them together would be called as an environment. Agent agent is the one interacting with the environment so in our case a driver who uh, who would be st who would be driving the car through the roads through the woods through mountains would be our agent action uh, actions are taken by the agent in the environment so basically a robot driving a car pressing up brakes accelerating the car so these are all actions that the agent is taking in the environment state so state is basically uh, when a, when the agent, the uh, our driver, is taking some action, then the state of the environment, uh, then the state of the object changes from one thing to another. So assume that uh, the agent takes a, an action break. So st in state when the car was moving, once he applies an action, the state changes to stop. Hence the car stops. So you're trying to understand, right? State is a uh, the particular uh, condition of the car in the particular scenario. Uh, reward. So reward is the instant price given to the action uh, when uh, when it is performed by the agent. Now this can be negative also, this can be positive also. What is a policy? So policy is basically the particular idea, the particular strategy the agent is following up to reach to his goal. It's called as a policy. Uh, so policy is basically a strategy that the agent is following up to reach to his destination an episode so uh, in reinforcement learning uh, or in any game also uh, from the start position uh, the agent start taking out certain actions the state of the uh, agent changes from time to time and eventually uh, uh, either the agent dies out he, his car falls out or he is not able to reach on time in the game overs or eventually he reaches on time so the entire episode the entire transition states gets over and eventually from the next time he need to start from again so this entire chain of events that leads to some conclusion, some conclusive state that a final state is called as an episode. So once a person starts from some initial state, assume that it to be his home and reaches his final state. So the final state can be uh, he is not able to reach his office and hence the car busted out in the game. I'm talking about in the game. His car fell off the cliff. It can be the case he uh, his car drowned in the river. So eventually these are end states in the game where uh, after which he needs to restart again. So once this happens, once a person, once the agent moves from initial state to the end state of the game, uh, and again he starts again, so that's one, that one cycle is called as an episode. Exploit. So as I told you that the agent is the one taking up actions uh, in the environment, so uh, he can take actions in multiple ways. Uh, multiple strategies can be followed. So uh, in strategy exploit, what he can do is that he can take the best action known to him. So for example, uh, yeah, the, per uh, the person is starting from point A and he wish to reach to point B and he uh, at a point he knows a shortcut. Okay, uh, he is not following the actual road but he is following the shortcut road. Uh, the, uh, so in that case, uh, once he reaches that shortcut road, he, he takes that shortcut. And eventually, this is called his exploit because he knows that this particular path will make me reach faster. Hence, he took the action that would be giving him the maximum reward that is uh, making him reach faster. Explore. Explore is an action that the agent takes randomly and without any personal uh, and without considering the reward he is getting from that action. So eventually it can be the case that a person is driving, he knows the shortcut but still he goes straight away or he takes up some third way. He does not uh, like some unexplored area he starts, he un unexplored path he starts going through to reach his destination would be called as an explore. So why exploring is required? So it must be like uh, pretty obvious that we should be going for exploit always. Why to go for explore? So it might be the case that uh, once the person start going to the third way, like we are again considering our example only, uh, it might be the case that he might discover uh, some more shortcuts that make him reach even faster than the first shortcut. So 
the entire idea of exploit uh, of exploring is that ki eventually there might be some better ways some better actions that he may take uh, which he may know once he start exploring other options uh, and that is why there has to be a trade off that has to be maintained between exploit and explore in reinforcement learning you can't be exploiting always because then what you would be doing is that you would be taking the same set of action always and eventually you won't be exploring other options present that can be more, uh, more rewarding as compared to the current one that is known to you and you can't be exploring always because uh, eventually if you would be exploring always you might be taking random paths making you delay to reach the destination so it has to be a trade off that has to be maintained between exploit and explore